We're going to be talking about Grade 12 English Language Arts 30-1. For this assignment, we're going to create a bar graph that explores Hamlet's shifting emotions throughout the play. By this point, students have read the entire play and have probably watched a video version as well. Right before this assignment, we might want to refresh their memory by pointing out significant passages, possibly showing video clips. Before working on the bar graph, students will have to do a little bit of work in advance. First, they have to choose seven events that depict Hamlet's range of emotions. They need to support each emotion with a specific quotation from the play. Now this can be something that Hamlet said, or something that another character says about Hamlet. Finally, students will want to provide a short rationale to justify their choices and their interpretations. All of this work needs to be done before attempting the bar graph, and can be saved in a Microsoft Word document or in another file of the student's choice. Students are provided with an Excel template. This assignment is all about Hamlet's shifting emotions. You've already done a lot of the pre-work. You've chosen seven events that depict Hamlet's range of emotions. You've supported each emotion with a specific quotation and you've provided a short rationale to justify your choices. Now, we're going to work on putting all this information into a bar graph. Once you've downloaded the Excel file, it'll look something like this. So we're going to go through and add in an example together, and then it'll be up to you to find the next seven. So the first example for Hamlet's shifting emotions is the death of Hamlet's father. Now let's assign this an emotion of negative 9. Once we move to the next box you'll see it automatically adds the bar at a negative 9. For a quotation right click, insert comment, change the name here to the person that's speaking. So if it's Hamlet we'll type in Prince Hamlet. You'll want to copy into here the text that you've selected. Make sure you expand so we can see it. We go back and you can read the whole quotation. We'll go on rationale, do the same thing, right click, insert comment, change it to rationale, and again you're going to go and you're going to copy and paste in the information that you wrote about this. Once again, expand it so we can read it all. A little bit more, a little bit more, and there you have it. It automatically saves when you hover over top. It'll pop up in a new window. So thinking of different events and different emotional levels, as you can see, we type in 7, and up pops the bar. Positive 7. We do negative 5, there it is down there, negative 7, and again, and again, really showing Hamlet's emotional state during the course of this play. You'll see here also the name of the event will automatically populate, so you don't have to worry about typing that in twice. Once you're finished the assignment, please make sure that you give it an appropriate name and submit it to the Dropbox. If you have any questions, as always, please don't hesitate to email your instructor.